Hello, Adult Education Center and Annex CSL instructors. I would like to teach you how to use the new Time Clock software. Hi. I'm excited to represent all the wonderful teachers at the AEC and Annex. I can't wait to learn how to use the new Time Clock software. I hope that you are not nervous about the new Time Clock system. It is actually very user-friendly and easy to use. We are a little nervous. As you know, many of our students don't speak English very well, and some of us teachers aren't very confident in our computer skills. Well, just relax. I believe that by the end of this video, you will be full of confidence and able to do at least three things with the new software. What would those three things be? First, on the first day of class, you will be able to register your students to your class section. That sounds complicated. How will we do that? It's really pretty easy. Second, you will learn how the students will sign in on a regular day. And, third, you will learn how to sign students out at the end of class. Oh my, I hope that this is all as easy as you say it is. Hello AEC and Annex ESL teachers. I would like to show you first how we are going to attach all the students to our ESL sections. On Monday, April 8th, when a student comes to your class, we will all need to teach them how to sign into the time clock, but before we can do that, we need to sign them into the section. So first things first, we're going to go to the website that we're going to use where our time clock software is. You go to the web address bar and you'll do this every morning or evening when you come to Wake Tech and you'll type into the web, web address bar on the computer in your classroom basicskills.waketech.edu and hit enter. That takes us to the College and Career Readiness website. We will go to the bottom of this page and click on the words CCR Login. When you click on that, it takes you immediately to the time clock um, where there is a passcode box. Only the teachers should know the password. The word is EAGLE in all caps, so you type in E-A-G-L-E -E and hit and click submit and now we're at the time clock software this is what it looks like welcome to wake tech so this is what your students will see each night or morning when they come to school so the students need to type in their college ID I'm just going to give you an example of we're going to use Tyson because I already used myself and now I'm registered to a class so it isn't what it will look like so we're going to use Tyson as our example so you type in the, the student's ID number. It's important that they all remember what their ID number is. We are giving it to them on little green cards with their year of birth in case they forgot what year they were born. Um, so we just typed in Tyson's ID number and we click submit. It comes up and recognizes that that's Tyson and asks him what year he was born. Temporarily, it's going to give us a hint. It's going to let us remind us that Tyson told us he was born in 1976. It will do this for all your students, but only for a little while. So um, our students need to remember what year they told us. Now we type in the year of the student's birth, which is 1976, and as soon as you get that typed in, it's, it goes to the next page. And now for the little bit tricky part. We have to attach Tyson to the section number. You will have to do this for every one of the students in your class, only on the first day and on the days that we add students to the class. So we will have to do it on Monday, April 1st, April 8th, I mean, and then it will happen again on April 15th and April 22nd. So this first day of school, you're going to spend some time teaching the students how to sign in and sign out. So we need to add Tyson to a section number. We're going to use section 105725. We click Submit. This is not actually a section that any of you will use. This is the Crossroads Cafe section that Tyson is joining. Um, the morning classes, the afternoon classes, the Annex classes, the AEC classes, they all have different section numbers. So I will make sure that you know 
which section number you need to use. But we are going to, we are attaching Tyson to this section number, 105725. And look, the computer says he's not on that section. Please notify the instructor. This is exactly what it's going to do for you on Monday morning and Monday evening. It doesn't know that the students are in these sections, so you are adding them to the section. So you need to say, yes, sign me in. Just ignore the red part and say, yes, sign me in. It, Tyson is now signed in, as you saw very briefly, um, and it's ready for the next student. And that's all there is to getting them attached to the section. In a minute, I'm going to show you how, next I will show you how to sign someone out. Because we just signed Tyson in, this is the, what the page will always look like when your students come to the computer. We now sign him out by typing in his ID number one more time and clicking submit. Comes up and asks us again, what year were you born, Tyson Carr? We type in 1976. And Tyson, do you really want to sign out? And we say, yes, sign me out. He is now signed out. He was only logged in for one minute. So once again, we're back to the home page, which is what it will always look like, except on the first day. This is what it will always look like when your students come to sign in. And let's sign in Tyson one more time to see what it looks like once they've been added to the section. So we'll sign in Tyson, 137. Oops, I don't need to tell everybody his number. Click Submit. Again, what year was Tyson born? If we learn nothing else, we're going to learn that Tyson was born in 1976. And now look, because Tyson is registered for a class, it comes up with a button. So after the first day, all that Tyson has to do when he comes back the next day, the second day, and the 30th day is choose the correct class. So he's registered for one class. He chooses that class. It's still arguing with us because um, he hasn't officially been added to the section except by you guys. And it will do this for a while, but once the, the, we get caught up with the paperwork turned in on main campus, it will stop doing that. So the student will have to say, yes, yes, I'm in this section, and click sign me in. And again, it says you are now signed in, and lets us move on to the next person. So it's really not that complicated. We type in the student's ID number. We type in their birth year. It might argue a little bit. You click the class that they are assigned to. And that's it. Thank you.